the mean value theorem part two. Here's the definition of the mean value theorem again. Uh, you should probably watch the first uh, video before watching this so you understand what the mean value is. Uh, you might stop the movie and reread this uh, definition. Here's the example we're going to do. Here we have a function uh, of x, x over x plus 2, uh, defined on the, uh, the domain of 1 to 4, including the closed interval 1 to 4. And uh, we're to find all numbers c that satisfy the mean value theorem. You might sketch a graph of this so you can see that uh, this thing does uh, 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 satisfy the mean value theorem in the fact that it is a closed interval that is continuous on the closed interval and differentiable on the open interval. I can assure you that it is, but you might want to check that for yourself. And now we're going to find all numbers c that satisfy the mean value theorem. So what's the first thing we do? We need to find function prime of c, right? So we have function prime of c. Here's the a function x over x plus 2 prime, and we're going to evaluate it at x equals c. Here is the derivative, and you might again stop the movie and take the derivative of x over x plus 2, evaluate it at x equals c. And then finally, we plug c into this. And so our f prime at c is 2 over c plus 2 squared. And that's the first part half, right? And then the second half, we have to find f of b minus f of a over b minus a. So we up b, of course, is 4, and a is 1. And it's the endpoints of the domain. I plug 4 into the function, and then I plug 1 into the function, and I end up with a number uh, 1 ninth. And remember now what we're trying to do. We want to set f prime of c, which we found to be this, okay, equal to this, which we found to be 1 ninth. So if I do that, I'll get 2 over c plus 2 squared equals 1 ninth. That's the equation. Now I just have to solve for c. So I do a little cross multiplication, and I end up with c equals negative 2 plus or minus 3 times the square root of 2. It looks like I end up with two c's, but only one of these is in the domain from 1 to 4. So what I do is, uh, and that's what I, I check, and you can check this if you also, you should check it. Uh, only c equals negative 2 plus the square root of uh, 3, to, uh, plus 3 times the square root of 2, which is approximately 2.24. 2, 4, 3. Well, I'm stumbling around, aren't I? C is negative 2 plus 3 times the square root of 2, which is approximately 2.243. Uh, this is the only one that's in the domain from 1 to 4. The other one's a negative number. If you have a negative there, it makes a negative number. And, and this is the point on the uh, curve uh, where the x value is between 1 and 4, that, such that the curve has the same slope as the secant line connecting 1 and 4.